so let us go ahead and uh, add feature for basically creating a db so let us uh, do that go to the data service and just copy this method create db this will basically create a db class sorry it will create basically a db sqlite database file so to do that we don't have the reference to connection like this we need to do it like dot get connection and then like this and instead of person we are going to refer to our own reference that our own object contact so this is the way so to do it now what we are doing here is we are basically dropping any existing contact table if which exists in the database and then we are creating a new one this way this is going to refresh the database itself so let us uh, go ahead and uh, test this out so to do that we will need a button out here as we and we have already created one here so let us create one more script to like which is called main scene and this script will contain the logics to basically interact with the contact service and it will integrate the ui to the contact service so let's go ahead and do it so the name before doing that let us add this script to the this particular class or rather the scene so just drag it and add it to the main camera it should be added at the bottom here now that we have added the script let us go to the script here in this visual studio in the visual studio just open the script for main scene and then get a reference to the contact service so this is service so auto complete will give you that feature and and you can just uh, have the name out there and what you need to do initialize this contact service so this way you can basically create the contact service reference inside the main scene once you are done with that create a method on create db button click this will be action handler for the button out there in the ui so inside this you call this method from the contact service dot create db so this should basically create the table contact or rather i'll say create contact table out here and let us name it as create contact table and here also so now you have the create contact table out here we'll go and to the ui and change the name there also 
because the DB is created, the database file as basically the SQLite file is created. So that's the database. This what we are doing here in this button action is basically we are creating a table contact. So here we have create contact table. Now we have it here. So next thing we need to do is like uh, go to this button and add a on click listener here. Drag the main camera that's the object which now you can just drag it and put it here from the functions you select on contact table button click now this is done if you want you can just run it now so this is the button let us do one more thing let us not maximize it for the time being Yeah, now the app is running right now in the streaming assets there are no database contact okay it has created the reason it has created even before we clicking it is here here as the script is loaded the contact service is initialized when you go to contact service the db is initialized now when you go to db initial constructor there the contact db is created here so that's why we have got the db so let us go ahead and open that particular db i am going to use db browser for sqlite to do that we can open the database So I'll go to that folder. Streaming assets here. This is the database. Right now it is empty. There is no table out here. So we'll go to the this particular app and click on create contact table. So we have clicked now. Let us refresh this. We'll browse data and then there's nothing out here. Here the database has been created. Contact. But right now there is no data out there. We are going to add it after some time. So in the let's go ahead and continue our session